fun. Now well is the first day of term for many families today. So John Sherrod is in the kitchen now to make your Monday meal times easier. And this dish literally takes 30 minutes. Is that right, John? 30 minutes. And actually, I think it's just one of those things to enjoy. I made it for my lot on the weekend because I told them what I was going to be making here. And they went, please, can we have it? So I made it for my lot and they actually devoured it. And what's brilliant about it is when you've done it, if there's stuff left over, it's really good in a sandwich the next day. Oh, and I think, nice. with, you know, when the school things happens and you're sort of fighting of, you know, what to do, how do you feed everybody? So the idea is it's, think chilli con carne, meatballs and nachos all in one dish. Right. And then so what you do is then let everybody do what they want. Now, I'm using two types of mince. I'm using pork mince and beef mince. But what I've done, Joe, because you don't eat pork, I've done you a special meatball one, a beef meatball, and I just bought meatballs from the supermarket, beef meatballs from the supermarket. And that's how simple it can be. So you can, you can do lots and lots of cheats here, Thank but you. very, very easy things to do. So what I've got here is to make the meatballs first is a mixture of half beef and half pork mince. And the reason is that that keeps the meat nice and moist. Pork's got a little bit more fat, it doesn't dry out. Some breadcrumbs, a little bit of milk. So I've got breadcrumbs, some milk, some parsley, some pepper, some oregano, and some milk. Now, the one thing here is don't put salt in it at the start. If you put salt into meat when you first start to mix it up, it starts to dry out. Wow. And that doesn't work. Now, what you're doing here, wow. right, is you're, what you should be doing now is getting a little bit of chilli heat. Right. Building You've got a crunch here. coming from the nachos. Right. F food's not just about eating it. Mm -hmm. It should be about texture and flavour as well. So you want to be able to make sure that you get something which is crunchy on top, something soft underneath, mm -hmm. and then a little bit of chilli heat which stimulates, starts to stimulate your, your taste buds a bit more. Are we loading up like this, John? We're you do what you time. like. So the idea I've like done, it. and what I've thought about with the kids, <laughs> is that I've put, given you some lettuce leaves. You could use tortillas if you want, like soft, soft tacos. You could use taco shells if you like. But put stuff in front of the kids and say, you help yourself. Because what we've got in here is we've got our meatballs, and then we're going to put some beans in here as well and some tomatoes. So you've got a bit of veg, and you can put carrots in if you wanted to. Put stuff in there so that you know, you've got more veg in, that's fine. Now, to make the meatballs, simple way to make a meatball. And you sort of do it like a system. You take a spoon, and you take a little spoon, and you just take a little bit of mixture and put it on a board. Don't roll them just yet, because what you want to do is you don't want a meatball to be hard and solid. It has to be soft, otherwise it goes too dense. So you do that first. So those there, I'm just going to move these out of the way. John, and then so spicy, they're yum. Mm. A little bit of spice yeah. to it. Then just pick them up and just gently roll them. Don't roll them too much, because otherwise they will go dense and hard, and you don't want them to be dense and hard. Once you've rolled all your meatballs out, you then start to sear them into a pan. A little bit of oil into a pan, mm. and I've got mine coming away here. So there's our first lot of mix. Now, that's going to take you about five minutes to get that sorted out. I'm going to wash my hands. So if you so raw meat. when you put a bit of sour cream, or the, it's just yum. I like yeah. picky stuff. Mm. I, li I like it when you can pick mm. and then add your own. Mm. And I think a lot of people like picky things, and that's yeah. the thing, especially when you've got kids coming from school and stuff. Now, the next lot is into the pan. With the, I've got meatballs now, which are sealed there. And you see there's all that lovely flavour left in the bottom of the pan. You want to keep that. Garlic. So don't do it in a separate pan. Do it in the same pan. A bit of paprika to give it a bit of spice. A little bit of chilli to go in there as well. And this is when you season them. Put the salt across the top now, otherwise they say it will dry it out. And then to that, I'm going to add a tin of red kidney beans. With its juice, really important... With its juice? Yeah, right. really important that the juice from the kidney bean goes in, because that will thicken your sauce. Otherwise, your sauce won't be thick. Because okay. now I'm going to put two tins of tomatoes, some stock and a little bit of water. And what I do is just take the, the stock, rinse out one tin so we don't waste anything. What and then would you use then? I just use the stock cube, beef stock cube, and a bit of hot water. So anything you like, chicken stock, veg stock, anything you want. I'm glad you use stock cube, John. You're not a snob about that. Yeah. You no, want... listen, you can buy really expensive bags of stock in the supermarket. It'll taste exactly the same. Exactly the same. Once you've done that, you bring that to the boil. Now, once that comes to the boil, then you have the fun bit with it. But what because you've done the seasoned meatballs and because you've done the tomatoes and everything else in the bottom. Everything is ready to go. That's your sort of pot. You could eat that if you wanted to, as it is, but I sort of want to embellish it a little bit. So, take some nacho chips, take a bit of cheese, mix the cheese together. Mix it all up, put that to one side because we're going to make, really make a quick, really quick tomato salsa to go with it. Tomatoes, some coriander, some little um, diced shallots, some lime juice, a little bit of chilli. Just put the lime juice in with the tomatoes. No salt, again, because if you put the salt with the tomatoes, it will make them go all soggy and wet. 
and you've got enough saltiness from your corn chips anyway. Parsley, your shallots, that's shallot. <laughs> you need that's a lot. Shallot. I know, I try. It never gets old, that one, does it? I know, it always does. <laughs> Mix that together, you got yourself a tomato salsa. Oh, that's so fresh and yum. And yeah, it just really good. Well, then again, we got our veg going with everything, mm. so that's okay. Now, we've got some guacamole, which you can buy, tzatziki if you want to buy it, jalapenos, some yogurt, some sour cream, some lettuce. As I say, whatever you want to do, you add to it, that's absolutely fine. So now, take once our stuff starts to come to the boil, it's, you've got your oven hot at about 180, and then all you do is you just put those nachos across the top, like this there, and you sprinkle them with cheese. Now, if you the kids aren't home from school yet and you've got to go and pick them up, you take them off the, the heat and let it go and you just put them in the oven a bit longer. You cover the whole lot with some cheese and then you put that in the oven at 180 degrees. Now, go for about sort of, say, 15, maybe 20 minutes. And what you want to do is you want to have <laughs> that lovely... What's that? He's I'm going having, for I'm it. I'm having such a great it. time, John. I'm really pleased. It's yum. Because then yes. what happens, this is the family size one, you guys oh, got to wow. need a bigger one. The family size one comes out like this, look. Lucky and then that. there you go like that, there. And then, of course, now what you want to do is you want to give it a little bit of style. So, I'm going to take a couple of chilies, because I think it's good to have a few chilies. I reckon my two boys would give that a good belt themselves. Well, the big one there. put it this way, yeah. my... What, how many children? I had four children around the table, two adults. They didn't finish it off. So the six of us, but the next day ended up being one on toast, one in a sandwich, and one in a wrap. <laughs> nice. So that's not bad, is it? For the same. So you've got two meals in one, and actually what you've got is two packs of mints, two tins of tomato, some um, red kidney beans, and some nacho chips, and you've actually got a really good meal. Yeah. And it's not, you know, it's it's not fast food, and it's not too bad. And it's not too costly. It's well, as we all know, at this time of year and with kids and stuff, and you yeah. want to feed lots of people, you just want to make sure that, you know, you, you pull your, your, your purse strings and away you go. Yeah. So there you go. Nacho baked, meatballs, lots of fun, mm. no salmon sperm, and it's Monday, and we've been to Manchester, Mauritius, we've been all around the world, and now we're here. And your nachos have stayed crispy. You're a legend, John. That's it. Good. Thank you, Thank you, John Sherrod. Thank They're you. absolutely delightful. Thank Thanks, you. John. As That's are you. So as are you. much fun to eat, and it's yeah. delicious. Uh, right, for details of today's recipe, you can scan the QR code on your screen right now, which will take you straight to our free This Morning app.